Hello, hello, and welcome to Games Revisited. It's episode 61, and we're continuing our playthrough of Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic 2, The Sith Lords, and I, I have found myself in a bit of a conundrum. I expected to spend some time between last week and this week uh, leveling up some characters, getting gear squared away, using, using my crew to make the best possible gear for the coming battles, you know, build all the mods and stuff, that, the, the fiddly bits that don't make for good live streams. Um, and, and here's where I find that I don't, I don't really have that time because I want to use Baudur as my, my main construction guy, except I can't. And you'll see why in a minute. Uh, what I do want to do is, no, nope, that's not the med bay. You know, I've spent two games on this ship, and I still can't navigate my own stupid ship. I, I, that's, that's something. That's something special. I know that one of the things that I need to do is I need to use the lab station. I need to be very thankful that, um, d despite recommendations to, to the contrary, I have been, uh, keeping my main character leveled up on treat injury because that's what all this lab stuff keys off of is treat injury and i need to break out um no nope, nope, not implants i need i need a couple of advanced med packs you'll see why in a minute uh let's go three four five six seven eight ten and i I, oh, how far off? Oh, oh my. Okay, never mind. I, I really wouldn't mind some of the hyper battle stimulants, but that's not going to be for a low owl because you need a treat injury of 23. Yikes. That means I'm going to have to be at a minimum level uh, level 20. Now I might be able to squeeze that in with uh, the intelligent... No, it goes off of wisdom. Yeah, exactly. Ouch is right. Um, either way... That's going to be a little while. So uh, let's just make a couple of these regular battle stimulants then. Uh, sh okay, four ought to be good enough. Um, is there anything in here that I can break down for more? Because I, I feel like I can use some more. Like, I'm never going to use this deadly gas mine. All right, let's bust that down. Um, I've been using the sonic mines for when I need to detonate doors and chests and things like that. Although, ever since the ever since the station, I haven't had a need for that. And, and honestly, I don't know why I'm keeping these frag mines. I have no idea. So you know what? Let's just break break down all the frag mines. Uh, five, four, three, two, one. Bam! All right, I'll keep those eight minor sonic mines in case I need to blow a door or something like that. Uh, the battle stimulants, I'll keep the hyperadrenal, the, the stamina, oh yeah, yeah, I'm, <laughs> I, I know who's gonna need that, I gotta remember that I got that in my inventory, you, you'll see why in a minute, um, and I haven't gone, I, I really need to go through these implants and figure out what I need to keep and what I need to get rid of, I'd intended to do that in the break, but, uh, that didn't go to plan, you'll see why in a minute. I'll need to keep the ion grenades. I might try using the plasma grenades. I'll definitely use those up. Um, well, let me break down these sonic grenades. I'll keep the frag, the plasma, and the ion. And okay, so I've got I've got some of that set up. I'm going to have enough time to level up to characters before we really get into some stuff so let me leave the ebon hawk and i am going to take atten with me and you'll see why in a minute and i'm going to take t3 with me uh because i think i think he's going to be the other one that i'm really going to need to have leveled up before i get the opportunity to do this again so are you sure this is the party you want yes it's time to get this party started I hope that song is stuck in your head. All right, yep, leveling. So first things first, um, I need to make sure everybody's got stuff equipped. All right, so he's still got his 
blaster pistols there. I, I need to see if those are the best. But before I do that, I don't know why this happens. Atten's... I had some guns in his hand. Every time I go, he, there there's supposed to be some guns in his hand. And there's not. I don't know why. I, I give up. Um, I don't want the rifles. I really should break those down, but I'm going to have somebody else do that. Somebody with a higher uh, skill. Well, I might keep a couple of... I might keep that bowcaster. Just because. All right. Uh, so I need I need to figure out the two pistols. I'm gonna I'm gonna have them dual wield. Uh, the disruptor is one to six, but it is unstoppable. That might make a better offhand. The watchman is two to eight. Okay, and it's got a chance to stun. That's not bad. Uh, one eh, one to four. Uh, three to six versus the two to eight. Uh, I like the higher floor, but I don't like the lower ceiling. Although that does have a plus one to attack. That might make the better offhand. Uh, the modified holdout. Nah. The sysstack, one to eight. Three to six, one to eight. Two to eight. Well, that's one to eight with an extra one to six electrical. So that's a minimum two to nine when you really think about it. Um, all right, what else do I have? Oh, three to ten. Never mind. That's probably going to be my top one there. Uh, one to eight, one to eight, and then we're into the swords. So yeah, that three to ten, that is totally the main hand weapon. Uh, offhand. All right, so we got one to eight with a bonus to ion. Nah. We got a 1 to 8 balanced, which is better. Uh, oh, most of these are. 1 to 8 with a bonus. 1 to 6 uh, electrical. 1 to 4 with a chance to stun. 3 to 6. It really comes down to, do I want the... Um, wait, where is it? 1 to 8, 1 to... Yeah. So do I want the the two to two to fourteen if I'm that lucky? Hmm. Oh yeah, let's do it. Why not? I'm sure they're gonna have shields, and that'll be a totally worthless worthless decision. But okay. Uh, I, all right. So I do want to keep the regen one. Or do I? Uh, hmm. That bumps his attack modifier up? Yeah, let's do that. And that gives him a bunch of weapons focus and weapon specializations that are awfully nice to have for his attack bonuses. Um, Dex plus two. I mean... Ooh. That's right, I was saving this for him anyway, wasn't I? Because that gives him a bonus fee to Precise Shot 1 and Precise Shot 2. Bumps his awareness, which not really concerned about that for the for this purpose. But it uh, bumps his attack modifier by another 3. Uh, versus bumping his dex by 2. And since the other implant's already giving the bonus feats on weapons focus, uh, losing those out, uh, yeah, I don't know, that just makes sense. All right, uh, all saves plus one, a couple of damage immunities. Uh, he's already got those from another item. I'm sorry, your bonuses come from a different item. Ooh, a defense bonus of one would be nice, and a strength plus two is always nice too. Uh, because I'm pretty sure I'm going to need to do some melee in a little bit. I know, I'm hinting at stuff about to come. Uh, so the question is, is do I want to bump his defense by one or up his melee options? Let's up his melee options. All right, and he's got an energy shield and a melee shield. And I think that's the best medium armor I'm going to be able to get him. Yeah. 
Yeah, that's the best medium armor I'm going to be able to get them for the moment. Um, I need to thin out that armor supply too while I'm at it. All right. Uh, speaking of which, is T3 as set as he can be? Oh, he's just got the 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 silly little mining blaster. All right. So he's got one to eight right now. One to six. Two. Okay. Two to eight. One to four. Three to six. Um. One to eight, one to eight. Yeah, let's go with the Watchman Blaster as his main and switch this mining laser for this field upgraded field survival. Yeah, I, I like those options a lot better. And this f all, all his armor and stuff hasn't changed. So now... Let's uh, level up T3 real quick. Level up. Attributes. I would like... Ooh, this is a decision. I get up as Dexterity, which is going to help with the skills that are based off of Dexterity and it's going to help as Attack and Defense. Or I get up as Intelligence, which is going to help the other skills because that brings them to a nice round number that gives a increase to uh so from 17 to 18 is going to bring that plus three up to a plus four the 19 to 20 is going to bring that plus four up to a plus five i could also give him one more in wisdom and actually give him a plus one on his will save but most things that attack will don't work on droids so i'm i'm not sure that that's the way to go i i wouldn't mind seeing his constitution just a little bit higher too but he's he's really not my main combatant if I can at all help it so it's really a question of dex or intelligence intelligence is also going to help with skill points uh, which is also usually nice to have particularly when the whole reason why I'm, I, I, I use him when I do is for his skills notably his computer hacking skills and his uh, repair skill But I think I'm going to need him more for combat in the very near future. Which would mean I probably want his, his dexterity up. Ah. He, he's a skill guy. Let's go with intelligence. Okay. Speaking of which, let's bump up these skills. Let's max out his computer use. Let's max out his repair. Let's max out his security. Um... Let's bump up his demolitions and his awareness and feats. Now, I almost, I sorely want to go master two up in fighting, but I would also like to um, make demolitions a class skill instead of a cross class skill. Uh, ooh. or do I want to give weapons focus? Weapons focus is going to bump his attack up by one, no matter what. The improved two up in fighting, or the master two up in fighting, is going to reduce the penalty for two up in fighting. Uh, so that means my chance to hit is going to go up better than if I did a. Uh, uh, flat plus one to attack because the penalty on the attacks would be reduced uh, by more than one well, particularly for the offhand um, alright demolitions isn't that important let's do the master two weapon fighting and then and then we'll go from there okay and let's accept and we level him up again he is a droid upgrade class three ah see this is where this is where the skill points would have been nice because i could have uh really cranked out the demolitions but oh well such is life it's all about the trade-offs all right you know i didn't know the droids can actually move light and dark i should have known better because hk is uh hk is way down on the dark side like I don't think you can see the dark lighting because the markers over the name dark 
when, when you get HK. Uh, Alright, let's level up Atten real quick. Alright, now remember, we just converted him over to a Jedi Sentinel. So, his eight levels of Scoundrel, those are all the levels of Scoundrel he's going to get. Period. Full stop. He is now a Jedi. And he is a Jedi Sentinel, so that means when we go to level up, the skills he has available are now the Sentinel skills, and he's only got three skill points instead of the ones that he had for as a uh, as a scoundrel. But that's okay. Um, I let's go ahead and keep his demolitions maxed out. That that makes up for the for T three not having max demolitions. Um, I almost want to keep his awareness up, but I think. I think what I really need to do is start cranking up his treat injury a little bit. Uh, I can't remember if the heal force power works off of uh, treat injury or not. So you know what? Maybe, maybe we'll do that in a little bit. Let's um, let's bump up his stealth, even though I'm probably never going to use that. And let's go feats. And he just got the weapons proficiency lightsaber, Jedi defense, force immunity to fear, Jedi sense, all the good stuff you get when you get your first level of Jedi Sentinel. I still want to sing that Judas Priest song. So I don't get a, a, a at least reasonable copyright strike. Go look up Judas Priest the Sentinel. And then you'll... Uh, <laughs> Well, I, I say reasonable because one of the Coffee Craft live stream replays got struck for using a song out of YouTube's library for creators to use so they don't get copyright issues. Because somebody else uploaded it and tried to claim it as their own. Anyway, that that's a whole nother thing. That's another thing for another day. Alright, uh, so here's the question. What do I do for Atten on all these skills? Um, no matter what we do with him from here on out, I really think the two weapon fighting is going to be the best thing for him because whether he's using two blasters or we switch him over to lightsabers or however you want to do that, um, master two weapon fighting is going to be a big thing for him. So let's go ahead and add that feat right now. And now we get to give him his first two powers. <laughs> weapons are two weapons. Did I misspeak? All right. Um, I think what I'm going to do for Atten is I'm. Oh, oh, gotcha. Gotcha. I'm tracking now. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I think what I'm going to do for Atten is I'm going to treat him similar to the way I did my character in Knights, the first Knights of the Old Republic game, where he also started as a scoundrel, leveled into Jedi Sentinel, and his main power selection were powers that you could use that did not depend on armor restrictions or no armor restrictions or whatever. So that way I could give him the best medium armor possible. Uh, I may even give him heavy armor in a little bit, too. That's a thought. So I'm going to focus for powers. I'm going to focus on stuff that Atten can use without having to worry about armor restrictions. Heal is one that just about everybody should have for obvious reasons. So we'll go ahead and add that power right there. And then the question is, uh, aura we can't use because it's restricted by armor. Burst of speed, restricted by armor. Force valor, restricted by armor. Force resistance, oh, no, restricted by armor. Uh, energy resistance, that's good, but it's only six points of damage. My shield does better than that. Uh, but the question is, is does this level up better than, the, than a shield does? And the improved energy resistance knocks out 12 points. Okay, that that's still not as good as a shield. Uh, 20 points? No. No, the energy resistance shields I have right now do better than that. So, moving right along to force barrier. Okay, 
But again, we got the same problem. Uh, the the shields that I can make and buy, and uh, that get donated to me by some of the random people we uh, encounter. Uh, <laughs> do better than that. Force barrier. All right, so no. Uh, battle meditation is restricted by armor. Force bot. No, he doesn't have the hit points to burn to turn into force powers, so that's not an option. Revitalize. No, restricted by armor. Affect mine. He can't do. Force deflection is a waste of a good power. So I guess we're down to the stuns, and I, I de I'm definitely going to make sure that he gets both of those stuns, because that also... That, that also comes in handy. So let's go ahead and add stun. That's it for now. And accept. And we're going to level him up a few more times because he's got a lot of catch up to do. And part of the reason why I'm doing that is he's about to engage in some solo combat as part of the story coming up. And I found that out the hard way when I was trying to do this. So uh, let's... Uh why is my dexter? Oh, oh, the armor's capping off my dexterity. Okay. Ooh. I need to look and see what what has a max dex of three then. Yikes. All right. Remind me about that as soon as I get done leveling up. Force sensitive, auto arm specialist. Nice. And so we'll we'll keep his demolitions up. And we'll max out his awareness. I don't know. Because I'm not really going to use it. You know what? No, no, no. Let, let's get him a couple of treat injury. All right. Powers. Let's get him the other stun. The one for the droids. Okay. And accept. And let's level him up again. We get the skills again. Uh, let's keep the demolitions up. You know what? No. Let, let's, let's dump it all into treat injury. Feats, a left feet and a right feet. Master two weapon fighting, he's already got. Do I want to just go ahead and give him the heavy armor proficiency? That is tempting. Uh, no, what I know I want to do is because I really do want to keep him with um, blasters until... Until, uh, until I get enough... Uh, lightsabers to go around and I got a funny feeling that might be a little while the game seems really stingy with the lightsabers a lot more than the first Knights of the Old Republic was so with that in mind I might want to give him close combat now so that way he doesn't take a penalty for using uh, blasters in close range and the enemies don't get much of a bonus out of being close as well okay and for powers, he can't take the next heal, but we can give him the next stun. Or we could do the force push. Force push is also a universal power that is not affected by armor. And I do like having that around too. So let's do that. Okay. Especially because it, it levels up into the force wave, which lets you uh, move some people out of the way. All right. And let's level up again. And he gets a natural bump. All right. Um, oh. Oh yeah. Okay. I I wouldn't mind I wouldn't mind bumping up his strength because if he's gonna be wielding swords or stuff later, uh, that would be nice to have. I I wouldn't mind bumping up his dex just to to make it that much sure of a hit. His a sixteen constitution is okay. I wouldn't mind having it 18 because that would allow him to use the highest level implants. Um, intelligence, he's not my skills guy. I got a skills guy. It ain't him. Uh, but he's going to need wisdom for will saves and force points. So I'm going <laughs> to... Yeah, I get a guy for that. <laughs> I know a guy. I know a guy. I know a guy who knows some stuff, you know. So uh, I'm, I'm going to go ahead and bump the wisdom up to 11. That's not going to help me yet. But it's the next step in getting him some more force points and a better will save. 
All right, so skills, we're going to, uh, let's crank up the, yeah, I know, I know, I keep forgetting, he's only got three points. That's where the intelligence would help, but that, that's not his biggest problem right now. All right, powers, do I want to do the advanced heal, or do I want to do the force whirlwind? Um, all right. So right now, it's 5 plus 1 point for every Charisma, Wisdom, and Level. And that goes to uh, 15 plus 1 for every Charisma, Wisdom, and Level. And it neutralizes Poison. Never mind. Let's get the Neutralized Poison up quick. Alright. Except, let's level up and... Uh, 9, 10, 11. Okay. And let's get him the Force Whirlwind. Because that is useful, and I'd like to get the wave as quickly as possible on him. And there we go. Now he is up to level 13. Um, armor, armor. I only need something with a max dex of plus 3. That leaves his defense about where it's at. So he's got the light battle armor, so that's seven, eight, nine. I light and it's got a regen uh, of two. Mm. Um <laughs> regenerate force point force points is kinda nice, but uh no, no, the defense bonus is not good. Plus part of the reason why I've been doing it the way I can is for the... Alright, so that would be a total of 6. I need a total something better than a total of 9 with a max dex of plus 2. Um, nope. 6, 7, 8. Eh, nope. Same. 5, 6, 7, 8. Nope. 8. 9, 10, 11. All right, there we go. The only problem with this is I cannot upgrade it, I don't think. So I can't uh, insert the plating that really makes the other one kind of nice. What about this bronzium? No, no, that's plus two. Um, clothing, clothing, Atten's rib jacket. No, no, let, let's go with the verpine fiber mesh. That seems to be my best option for the moment. Okay. All right. And I do believe that's about it. So before I do anything else, let me go ahead and save this game. Just so I don't have to go through all that again in case something goes haywire. And this is also where I'm going to insert a cut. So if you're watching live, hang tight. We've still got much more to go. And if you're watching on YouTube, then... uh. You'll see what happens next in the next episode. But um, hang on, we're not done yet on the live stream. Well, that was fun. Unless I just died. Then it was a little less than fun. I hope you've enjoyed. I hope you're having fun. And if you want to watch live, you can follow along on Twitch. I live stream the recording of the next six episodes at least once a week. I might even throw in some bonus content here and there if time allows. And you'll find the link in the description below. Also, if you haven't already, please subscribe to the YouTube channel. That way you'll get notified when new episodes go up, live stream archives from some of my other stuff, and various and sundry other videos. Because I do more than just this. And if you want to get notifications, don't forget to hit the bell. And if you really, truly enjoyed it, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and all that good fun stuff. If you have any questions, queries, quips, quotes, comments, complaints, or other whatnot, don't forget to leave those in the comments down below. Lastly, if you're enjoying the show, if you're getting some value out of it, then consider giving a lot of value back. Go to live.anonjunior.com. It'll take you to the Streamlabs page where you can tip or donate, however you want to think about it. And there's no preset amount because this is a straight up value for value proposition. So if you're getting value out of the show and you would like to give a little value back, even if it's just enough for a cheap cup of coffee, then uh, consider going, giving a little bit, especially if it tickled the nostalgia. 
or open your eyes to a new game that you might play. And uh, with all that said and done, we're uh, we're gonna cut out. Have fun, enjoy, and I'll see you next time.